Since 2008, our ships have represented Singapore at the Rim of the Pacific Exercise, or Exercise RIMPAC, the world's largest multinational maritime warfare exercise. It was no different for RIMPAC 2020. Even as we deployed under the shadow of the COVID-19 pandemic, RSS Supreme and her crew continued to fly the Singapore flag high. Being part of RIMPAC is important. It provides a global stage for us to interoperate with other navies from all around the world and strengthen our ability to interoperate as partners. RIMPAC is unique and complex by sheer virtue of the number of ships and countries participating. USS Dewey. In real world situations, we will eat every sea structure in effect. All of our discussions had to be done virtually, either through regular teleconferences or email correspondence. For an exercise of a skill like RIMPAC, I think this is unprecedented. RIMPAC is conducted off the waters of Hawaii biennially. The vast expanse of the training area allows the RSN to operate and train in waters that are over 400 times the total land area of Singapore. I manage and operate the multifunction radar and also the combat management systems in the Combat Information Centre. Throughout the series, right, what we do is we will track all these targets and then also manage the data link where we will send and receive tracks from our friendly forces then we piece out the picture and we let the principal warfare officer make the decision like who to engage or where do we move. We are like the advisor to the principal warfare officer. So in a layman term, like the principal warfare officer is like Iron Man. I am like Jarvis. heard about RIMPAC 2020 from my department chief. Ever since then, I wanted to partake in this exercise as uh, the opportunity to sail this is a rare one and much so for an NSF. Because of this deployment, I extended my ORD date by five months. My family was very supportive and they were very encouraging and they believed that uh, I was doing it for a good cause to go on this deployment with the Navy. Underway replenishment, or UNRAP for short, ensures that ships can sustain operations at sea for extended periods. Fuel, munitions and stores are transferred from one ship to another as they sail in close proximity with supply lines passed for hours at a go. As we are going on a mission or operation where we need to go to a certain place at a certain time, so we are doing it concurrently while we are going underway topping out a few. Instead of going back to base, top up and then come back, again, that will be uh, wasting of a lot of uh, precious time. Like being Siamese twins out at sea, ships need to constantly communicate with each other as long as they are connected. They even need to coordinate slow turns as one combined unit to avoid traffic. Every half degree matters. Every 0.1 knot of speed makes a difference. As helmsmen doing unwrapped operations, the challenges that I face are plenty. To put them in context, when two ships come close together, there are interaction forces at play, which indefinitely affects my steering. To overcome this, I believe you need to have the mental focus, resilience and experience. You have to have the ability to work under pressure, to keep your mind clear and focused for one thing and one thing only, and that's to maintain the ship steering. One of the challenges would be to be uh, exposed to the weather for that amount of time, which includes bad sea state, uh, which will lead to uh, sea spray. And most of the time, the deck will be wet, 
so it is slippery and uh, sometimes it's hard to get a good footing. All these are things that we uh, mentally prepare for and understand procedures that we are taught in training. Meanwhile, on the bridge, the crew give their undivided attention to the ship's course and speed. With the two ships this close, there is little room for error. I'm the rest tech IC uh, on board. Uh, uh, during the underway replenishment, I'm in charge of the safety of my guys and the proper procedures for doing the unwrap. During rough sea, the ship will hound or actually roll, which causes the ropes to be tightened or slack when we are taking in the ropes. As I won't be able to see all round at all times, so my team members will have to know what is next coming up according to the procedures. Trust is really important especially for teammates, especially when he, they were the ones that will actually look after your back for you when you are your blind spot when you really cannot see them. Uh, this is Aldora. We have uh, completed our gravity drain. The underway replenishment is a success. It is all in a day's work for RSS Supreme and her crew. Less than a week remains at RIMPAC, but more rough seas and challenging serials lie ahead.